Here's our tail of the tape for this, a catch weight bout at 163 pounds, 74 kilos. Jean, 31 years old, to Kears Marker, 26. They have identical height and reach. With professional experience, huge edge for Kayin Jong. Big win percentage, 95%. Not as much knockout power as the Caresmaker, but we've also seen the Caresmaker back at Glory 2 on the prelim, so he's been kickboxing for a long time. Once again, this catchweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, standing on our left and fighting out of the black corner, an ISKA European and world champion. He comes to Shenzhen with a professional record of 18 wins, six losses, one bout scored even, and 10 career knockouts. At five feet 11 and one half inches, 1.82 meters, he weighed in at 162.7 pounds, 73.8 kilograms. He fights tonight out of Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Cedric the Kissmaker. Here now is his opponent, fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world Sanda champion. As a professional, an impressive record. 76 wins, just three losses, one bout scored even, and 15 career knockouts. He stands 5 feet 11 and 1 half inches, 1.81 meters, and he weighed in at 162.7 pounds, 73.8 kilos, fighting out of the Henan province of China. <laughs> 身高一百一，体重七十三点八公斤，臂展一百八十一点五厘米，职业战绩七十六胜三负一平，十五次KO对手。他曾是一代人的希望，他曾是三大冠军，他是威风少侠张开义。Here now is your referee for this bout, Dr. Guo Yi. No elbow. Can't listen to me. Go on. Okay. No. Cedric to cares marker. 18-6-1. Kayan Zhang 76-3-1. Kayan Zhang was very humble when we said, I asked him point blank, how confident are you that you're gonna win this fight? He said, ah, about 60 to 70 percent. You don't hear that a lot. But it's Kayan Zhang in the white gloves to Kears Marker in the black. You have Zhang as a southpaw, the Caresmaker in as an orthodox. Zhang has really good low kicks, so he plans on using that and good uppercuts. Ooh, Kears Marker going right after the Chinese legend, backing him up into the corner. And his favorite strike is the head kick, the Caresmaker. So let's see how he mixes that in with his unpredictable style. In his corner, he's got Philippe Verlinden, who they train frequently. And Philippe said that he throws things on angles, which you don't see. So that's what makes him very unpredictable with his style. Yeah, that landed. Big roar from the crowd. There's that, sand, there's that Sanda style, that explosive kicking. Not known for his knockout power, but boy, would he love to get one here tonight. Obviously, Kayan Zhang, a big name here in Asia. The rest of the world perhaps seeing him for the first time. Let's see what he's got. Good body kick on the way down by Dekirsmik. Zhang needs to be careful with those sweeps. Difference between Sanda and Glory rules. Can't sweep, can't trip. No dumps. Kearsmaker said he gets all his excitement 
and then his life in the ring says I'm so quiet outside. Mostly I just like to sit around and hang out with my wife. Fight! That can be fun too though, right? I mean, come on. Yeah. Don't sell yourself Fight! short. Fight! Kai and Zhang, born and born in the Henan province. Always dreamed of being a wushu practitioner. He's now evolved into a kickboxer. And perhaps the best this country's produced. And the key for the cares maker, you can't be intimidated. He can't over-respect Jong. And that's what he's doing. The way he's coming in with his kicks, mixing them up. Pretty close opening round. Mr. Kearsmaker swings wildly with that left hand, misses. Ooh, went up top. Nice shot by the Belgian. Here's our fighter profile. We'll start with Kai Yin Zhang. He's won his last three fights. That doesn't really tell the story for a man who has 76 wins. Says he's an intelligent fighter, has a high in-ring IQ, and knocked out the reigning WBC World Muay Thai champion back in 2009. That was a long time ago, though, Joe. Yeah, he even has a 2010 win over John Wayne Parr, which is really impressive. Cedric the Caresmaker from Bulls Gym, you see in his corner, Philippe Verlinden. And he has that unorthodox style. He's really trying to mix in those kicks, find different angles to try to land. He's on a current five-fight win streak, and he actually fought at Glory 2 prelims. So many shows later, he cracks a co-main event spot. Round two, scheduled for three. You're watching Glory 57 from Shenzhen, China. Nice running one-two there for DeKiersmaker. <laughs> Open scoring for the judges. Give it to the Belgian. Yeah, he's pressing the action. He's scoring and throwing more. Jong's waiting a little too long to get any offense off. Something big. That's a nice start. Good body shot. Chris Baker claims it was low. I don't think yeah. so. Uh, didn't look low. I will say it's very confusing as the referee continues to say fight. The fighters stare and look at him and like, we are fighting. Why do you keep telling us to do that? Yeah, he's trying to encourage action, but it's a little too often. Oh, nice right hand to Kearsmaker. And he's Fight. slipped in that right high kick. Fight. We saw John mix in a spinning hook kick in that first round. That's something he's going to have to do, try to mix some of that spectacular offense that he's known for. Whoa, nice kick down low. Almost knocked the Kearsmaker completely off his feet. Yeah, he's got solid low kicks, John. He needs to come in there and try to put some hands to low kick combinations. Our matchmaker, Cor Hemmers, writes an article before every event. And he said this was a 50-50 fight, in his opinion. Calls it his matchmaker notes. You can read it on glorykickboxing.com. A better round two Fight. here for Kai and Zhang. Uh, he's pushing a little bit more, definitely a little bit better. He landed some good punches in the mid-range exchanges. Fight. Good body shot. Fight. Oh, right hand connects. Kearsmaker walks right through it, though. He's throwing a lot of leather in the corner. And Zhang's. Comfortable just sitting there exchanging. Not 
really worrying about moving his head or defending the punches. And right in the middle of that big exchange, our referee yells, fight. Maybe that's his only English word he knows. <laughs> Good round two. A better one for Kayan Zhang. Did you think he won it, though? Uh, to win it, I, it's, it's kind of tough because the Cares Maker's pressing, and I think that forward pressure may score well for him. You know, Zhang stayed against the ropes a little bit longer. Definitely a better round. I'm, I'm predicting a, a split um, in that round between the judges. There's a good lead hook low kick, and you know, watching some of John's past fights, and the first thing I picked up on how solid his low kicks were and his uppercuts, and we really haven't seen that from him, especially those low kicks. But here's that exchange where they're both just content sitting there trying to find a, a good power punch. Interesting to see what our open scoring says here in a few seconds. Three minutes to go between Cedric the Kearsmaker in the black gloves and Kai-Yen Zhang from China in the white. Spinning back fist. There's the low kicks that Zhang needs to start throwing. Low kick. Fight! He's got some powerful kicks coming. The cares maker was doing well when he's being first, trying to score with his kicks. Good oh. power, overhand right from the cares maker. And that knocked him off balance. The judges scores from round two. Four of the five give it to Kayan Zhang. So the winner of this third round will take the fight. Oh, and a straight right hand. Kersmaker's got these high kicks that come out of nowhere. Oh, his back fist lands. Fight! We're used to a referee yelling either break or stop, not fight 30 fight! times, just like that. Couldn't even finish the sentence. Both men fighting like they need to win this third round, and they do. Fatigue starting to set in. The cares makers not putting that volume out that he had in that first round. Oh, a right hand connects for the Belgian. Yeah, I feel like he wants to get in there in punch range now. Where before he wanted to stay longer with his kicks. More output from the Kearsmaker. That could be the difference. Oh, nice uppercut. Straight left, splits the guard. Now it's the cares maker with a spinning back fist. It seems to be the, the strike of the night. Everyone's been throwing that spinning back fist. And that's it. The Kears maker seem to have come on stronger in the third round, but we don't know for sure until we get the judges' scores. The decision when we return to China. Now let's look at highlights from Cedric the Cares maker and Kayen Zhang. And the Cares maker did well in that first round, pressuring, outscoring Zhang. But round two, Zhang came out a little bit more aggressively. Started finding more success with his boxing, found some good low kicks. A lot of good back and forth exchanges here. The Cares Maker constantly coming forward for all three rounds. We're in the third round, which this fight comes down to. Both guys had moments in that fight. 
Spinning back fists and a lot of straight lefts from Jong. And a lot of forward pressure and kicks from the Charismaker. Here's our strike statistics. Kicks, 45 to 16. That was the big difference between China's Tian Zhang and Belgium's Cedric de Kiersmerker. Let's go back into the ring now, and Tim Hughes. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. They score this bout 30-27, Jean. 30-27, De Kiersmaker. 29-28, Jean. 29-28, De Kiersmaker. And our fifth and final judge scores the bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision. Cedric the Kissmaker. I was getting a little worried there, Joe. That seemed like a pretty obvious decision, but you never know sometimes. Yeah, he looked good. He was pressuring well with his kicks, landed well, put the pressure on, and a well-deserved decision went for the Kissmaker.